Hey guys, I'm Rui. Welcome back to my channel. Now here it is, 5 annoying things about my French husband. He's a very sweet and intelligent Frenchman. Frenchman? Oh la la, he must be romantic. Um, not always, but he can be very romantic when he wants to be. We are a very international couple. We met in Australia, been living in the US, the UK and France for the past 10 years, and we would like to explore more new places. Si c'est 600, 600, 600, 600, 600, 600, 600, c'est 600, 600, 600, 600, 600, succès. J'adore la cuisine française, le vin et les films, mais la langue française est encore très difficile pour moi. Je parle français avec un accent chinois et anglais, et j'ai l'air stupide quand je parle français parce que je continue de faire des fautes fondamentales. French people are very proud of their language and everybody expects me to speak perfect French. My husband is doing the best he can to help me improve my French by pointing out all the mistakes I made and making fun of them so that I learn better. I mean, French is a very beautiful, romantic and sophisticated language, but it makes no sense. The French way of counting is absolutely ridiculous. This is how they say 99. Gatolan Disneuf. I miss you in French is Tu me manques. I mean, why does French have to switch subject and object? And guess que c'est literally translates to What is this that this is? And <laughs> French grammar rules gave me nightmares. Go. Happy birthday, Cookie. French cuisine undoubtedly is one of the best in the world, but the moldy cheese, seriously, they smell like an old man's feet. My husband is really upset that I didn't feel in love with them like he does, and I'm really upset that I have to put them in my mouth time after time. My husband is a very well-dressed Frenchman and he puts appropriate clothes for all occasions. To him, my fashion sense is a little bit hard to describe. I still remember the first time he invited me to visit Paris. I was wearing a flashy yellow jacket. He was mortified. Apparently, my colorful dress was too much for the street of Paris. And then another time, I put on a white, a fancy white dress to go out with him back in the US. He was like, are we going to a wedding? Okay, so I was overdressed. And recently I bought myself a very nice Chinese style summer dress with lots of flowers in the front. The second he saw me, he can't stop laughing. And then he said, Fu Yuan, one compound chicken please. There's no equivalent translation for this word, but almost all French people I know like Siu Hale. They complain about almost everything. They also complain about French people who complain too much. My husband complains a lot less than a regular French person, but it still can be annoying to the ears. Chicken is bad. Why is it bad? We are he has great attention to details which I'm liking, such as this little wooden structure he made for us to grow vegetables. It even has a beautiful little roof to protect the tomatoes from the rain. He always finds it funny that I can easily mess up with the measurements when I try to make something like this, or that I make silly grammar mistakes when I write my essays and work reports. Most of our cultural differences slowly went away as we adopt the other person's preferences, but some of them stayed because they involved the desire to maintain one's sense of identity, which is tied to the culture in which one was born. They can be challenging in difficult times. We have learned over the years that the most effective way to handle negative complaints from each other is to discuss about them in our day-to-day -day lives. And always keep in mind, when we decided to marry someone from another country, we are also marrying an entire culture. Marry me, marry my country, marry me, marry my family. <laughs>